And the next proclamation is for Italian American Heritage Month. I'd like to know why I can't do that one. I'm the Italian American on the council. I'm 100% Italian American. Why don't you go up and read it with him? So is Peter. So I'll say this to myself. Okay, guys, fine. I got here tonight, left my class. I was hoping to do it. Appreciate letting me do it. You got to stand with me. No, you don't have a choice. Maybe my last proclamation, folks. And I'll be telling you about the problem for Italy right now is that Mussolini's granddaughter was elected to the council in Rome, and the woman who supports Mussolini and his party from 100 years ago has been elected prime minister. And it's the biggest disgrace to my people to have that happen, that Italy is now under the control of the Mussolini party, the worst dictator with Hitler. And if you don't remember this, you should watch MSNBC and other channels bring out that 100 years ago, in, 2000, in 1922, Mussolini took control, like some people try to take control of our capital. I'm not going to say which party, okay? Italian American Heritage Month, whereas over 5.4 million Italians immigrated, our nation was even named after an Italian, the explorer and geographer Amerigo Vespucci, not Columbus, okay? The Italian-American community faced racial, social, and religious discrimination. I was called Guinea many times when I was young. Yet Italian-Americans have preserved with hope and hard work to reach for the American dream and help build our great country. My mother died about two years ago, 101 years old. Florence Chiego Russo. Italian-Americans operate thriving businesses, teach our children as I have done for 40 years, serve at all levels of government as I have done, and succeed in countless occupations drawing on the courage and principles of their ancestors, not Mussolini, and proclaim October 2022 as Italian American Heritage Month. It's only from October 15th, however. So remember, last month I read the Hispanic Heritage Month runs from September 15th to October 15th. Ours is October 15th to November. So we have two great heritages, Hispanic, which I have relatives in Puerto Rico, and I hope you'll pray for them because they're still suffering and recovering from the hurricane right now. Signed by Mayor Spiller, William Hurlock, Deputy Mayor, and it was never handed to me to sign, so I'll sign it right now. Uh, Township of Montclair, New Jersey, Proclamation for Blindness Awareness Month. Whereas blindness and profound vision loss affect more than 160,000. <laughs> Mr. Mayor, I would like to say something on this one because I could have easily read it too, but I went to the eye doctor yesterday, and the eye doctor told me that my prescription drugs for my glaucoma are no good because the pressure's gone up. Older folks like me, 75, understand what I'm talking about. She said, you can't take those generic drugs that Grove Pharmacy always gives me, which Grove Pharmacy is good and great, but the insurance would not cover, would not cover the brand name, Istalol. She said, you need Istalol, $350, okay? It's gonna cost for the little bottle, this, okay? 350 is what it's going to cost, okay? So I fought, and I went to the insurance company, and I went to the people, and my doctor told them he cannot use that generic drug. He needs the prescription drug that she originally gave me. And they're going to cover it now, okay? But only because I'm a senior. What if younger people, and I have glaucoma since I'm 30. My mother had it. I inherited it. This is the kind of problem we face in this country. We're all unified about this. Firefighters, taxpayers, people here, we're all unified, young and old. We can't afford to have these drug companies charging these exorbitant rates and forcing you, and insurance companies forcing you to have to use something that might not help you and charging $350 for this little thing here, okay? I just wanted to say that because I've had glaucoma for many years. It's very hard for me to see. Even tonight I'm having trouble. But I do see clearly right now, okay? I see clearly what's happening, okay, in this country, in this town, and in my country of Italy. I'm so upset from yesterday's news that Mussolini is coming back, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Um, there's almost too many people want to do this in Montclair, <laughs> thinking maybe Montclair is potland or something. I don't know. Best governance and management practices Thank and you. guidelines. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.
Thank you. Uh, Mayor, again, I hate to do this to everybody, but she lives in my building. No, I'm saying she lives in my building. Don't say it's unfair. I'm just asking you could have talked to me, so I'll try to follow up on your requests. But you live down the hall from me, Tanya, so let's talk about it, okay? This was a bid that we responded to that had the majority of the council said yes to, except for one council member who left during the, during the negotiations, during the conversation, left the meeting. So what does that say about that representation? Left, five yes, one silent. And one I dare absent. anyone, the one who left. Yeah, I left, and I'll tell you so why I left. I say to you all, you're going to represent you all the time, or are you going to represent you some of the time? Yeah. Now we're going to have a real debate, huh, folks? The reason I left is my sister has cancer in California. We were getting a Zoom call at 10 o'clock that night from her, three hours earlier their time. I told my family I will definitely be back home by 10, but no, we had to go in executive session. Do you all remember how many people sat down here for three hours waiting for us to come back down? Remember that situation, okay? Now, senior citizens were sitting here for three hours. I left because of my sister, but I also left because some council members mocked what I said when I said again, do not offer Glen Ridge a penny less than they are paying right now. That is what I said, and then I left the meeting. I did not leave because I don't represent people. What Councilman Cummings is doing is continually texting me that I'm ridiculous, I am wrong, I am a, 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 a twist. He's totally, totally negative towards me. I don't know why. I've known him for years, I love his family. This is really wrong, and it's the management of the town that needs to be changed, okay? Yeah, I just have to ask this question to get this clear with the manager, okay? Because he's obviously lying when he says I didn't tell him what I told him. Uh, I will say this. It's a strong thing if you're going to say someone's lying. And I, and I would say... Uh, I'm Mr. sorry. I think, Mr. yeah, I appreciate you I saying apologize. that. And I, I apologize. I apologize, but okay. I have to say okay. that I've told him things, and he says I can't even tell him things sometimes. That, that, I'm, that, that I'm may out be true. Of the, out of the, the Faulkner Act range, okay. Listen, folks, I was here when I was mayor and was reprimanded for talking to somebody, okay? I'm not afraid to talk to people. You can tell that. Mr. Mayor. Uh, Mr. Stafford. The fact of the matter is your comments are despicable. Your comments are despicable. See, now that's not the way you should ask. The fact of the matter member. is you, you have no right to call me a liar. My mother and father raised a polite gentleman. And I sit here and I try very hard to hold my tongue, but when you say something like that, I cannot and I will not accept it. Well, Mr. You Stafford, did not he did, say, he did, he I did beg apologize. your pardon. He did apologize. Uh, apology notwithstanding, you did not say that, that Bloomfield was not going to bid. You didn't say it to me. You didn't say it in the executive session. Tell me I'm wrong. You're you, wrong. <laughs> you said it in the executive session? I left the executive session. You're darn right. Yeah, because and you guys wouldn't listen to me. Well, the fact of the matter you. is, you have no right to call me a liar, and I won't Mr. stand Stafford, for it. Mr. Stafford, I think you made it's your point. It's despicable. Well, I Thank won't you. stand for Thank your you. treatment of a person who's gotten several thousand votes to be elected by the people As long as you continue to, to violate okay. the law, I will tell I you that not you are violating, violating the law. Now, what is he saying now? I am not violating Mr. the law. Stafford. When you Mr. what violation of the law have to, I caused? Mr. Mr. Stafford, directly, Mr. Stafford, you are violating the law. Speak to the employees directly. Stafford, I can't speak to anybody, and I have not spoken point. to anybody. Don't accuse me of speaking to employees. I have not spoken to employees, and you know that. I can, so you are the I one now who's making you up after the charge. Meeting, Mr. You Stafford. are a manager who Mr. is Stafford. out of control, Stafford, and this please. government needs to be changed. But when I saw what the financial officer said about how much money we should get. And stop talking to the side while I'm talking. Would you please, Councilman? One, one at a time, please. And This, this is, is the Councilman rudeness Russo's that time. has gone on with me. There's a disrespect for me after all these years.